draw on the spline by specifying control vertices. If we go up to our create and we hit the down arrow and we have spline control vertex, what this will do is create a spline based on these vertexes that we can pull and, and, and create a tug on these things and we can give it some editing ability. So we're going to hit spline and we're going to pick a first point. We're going to pick a second point, a third, a fourth, and a fifth. And now when I'm done I'm just going to come over here and click on the OK. And now what we have are these control vertices. I can pick on these and I can pull them. And I can grab a hold of this one now. And I can pull. And I can grab a hold of this one. And I can control. So whichever one is pulling or tugging more, we get more uh, bend to it. Uh, and uh, so I can grab a hold of this one and keep pulling uh, downwards and upwards, etc. And I can control these. So um, these are called control vertices. Also, if I just have a regular line drawn and I want to go up and I want to add a control vertice spline to it, I go up to my control vertice. I can hover onto the end of it, snap onto the end of it. Then I can come over and I can actually um, grab on these things and I can um, actually, uh, I'll do a little more here. And then I'll say OK. And now, based on these control vertices, I can control that and they'll be connected at that beginning line. So these are called control vertices. Uh, and they and they allow us to control our splines. So uh, what we've done is we've drawn a spline by specifying various control vertices, and uh, and at the end we can just simply right click, go to the marking menu, and say OK, or we can just click on OK, or we can actually just hit the OK button on the keyboard, and that will apply the uh, the control ver vertex spline.